Whether it's the school year and you find your busy family is eating in shifts or it's the summer and you just want to take it easy, a well-stocked pantry means dinner is always at hand. Joining us again from the New England Dairy and Food Council is nutrition specialist Heidi Harkoff, who is helping all of us out answer that question, what to do for dinner? I don't have any food in my refrigerator. You know, most of us like to plan ahead and know exactly what's going to be on the menu throughout the week, but every now and then there's that day where five o'clock the family's saying I'm hungry and what's for dinner and what's for dinner. That panicked moment, I don't know. <laughs> so and many um, of those. Yeah, we all have those. And you know, particularly during the school year, like you said, it could be on busy. those nights where there's shift eating because everyone's going someplace. In the summer, you just want to sometimes take a night off. So that's when I always have sheer joy. That's really every night, I think, for most people. I take you know the night what I'm saying? Off? Yeah, yeah. No, take the night off. Yeah, we just want somebody Cooking's else to cook a joy. or to put something together. Yeah. Yeah, come on, Ryan. Cooking's a joy. What are Cooking's you talking about I, here? I, I never Do we need That's to exclude you from so, this segment here? So thankfully, <laughs> you're here to help families, uh, people like me who, who who can't cook. So And you're so, making it easy, which yeah. is Yeah, really well, the joy nice. is when you actually look in your pantry and you see things that you can just put together. And I'm going to show you a couple of tricks for, for foods that will just allow you to Take what's in your pantry if you have it well stocked. Mm. And I want to show you a couple of things to stock your pantry with. You know, canned beans and peas are great because they're so loaded with great nutrition. They have a lot of fiber, a lot of protein, and super shelf stable. So there's no reason not to have a bunch of cans of those around. Cheese, when you buy um, cheese blocks like this or shredded cheese, that has a really long shelf life in your refrigerator. And to me, cheese is the thing that can meld all flavors together. So when you got cheese in the house, you can make anything come together and call it a delicious meal. That's Eggs. really true. Got cheese in the house? Got cheese in the house, <laughs> That should always. be a new song, you know, it should be part of the slogan or something, I'm just saying. And then we have the eggs, you know. You know, you eggs are the also, eggs they, the they really aren't What's the shelf super... life on eggs, really? When you look at the carton, you'll usually see it's it's several weeks out. So okay. it, it depends, but it's, it's a good several weeks. And eggs can really also turn anything into a meal. So, and tortillas, and I'm going to show you some tricks with tortillas. One of the, my favorite things to serve our family is um, tortillas or quesadillas mm -hmm. because it's a great place to put leftovers and turn them into what I would call planned overs. So the family's like not seeing overs. the exact same thing two days in a row. They get putting a twist thing. on the it previous is. night's dinner. So what I brought is, you know, just to talk about how we can have um, beans in the house is to take some black beans. Actually, we know what we're going to do. Let's put our cheese down first because cheese is going to be the thing that's going to meld all these flavors together and gives you a great source of protein and calcium. And to put some pepper jack cheese, you can make this really spicy and go with uh, even the more strongly flavored cheeses, I think there's a habanero cheese out there. Put some black Yum. beans in it, you know, and, and this is where anything goes. So if you had red pepper in the house, put red Just peppers it in. in it. If you don't have red peppers, put green peppers in, put some onions in. What's great about a quesadilla is that you can custom order this to your family. So when I started making these, you know, my husband, lo I love it with cumin and chili powder on top. Give it a little kick. Yeah. Toddlers aren't really into that, so <laughs> for the kids, out, kids. <laughs> <laughs> with the children, I started with just the cheese and the tortilla, and as they got older, then I would put black beans in it, and you know, you just start to build it up. If you have some rotisserie chicken in the house, do you, you want to take this yeah. over? Yeah, let me we'll, step, we'll, in. Like step yeah. in. Go yeah, ahead. Go we're ahead. Just gonna do a little switch. You want to use the spatula? Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. Another thing that I often find is at home, you bring a rotisserie chicken home, and sometimes there's a little bit of meat left. It may not be enough to, again to have a whole meal. So if you just take what's left and put it in a baggie and throw it in the freezer, you can even chop that up and put it in there if that's what you have. Again, using this is so smart because then you chop it up into small pieces so it's more accessible. Right, and it may not be enough for the whole meal, chunks. but you can reuse it. Over there, what I have is a pizza crust that's already been, you know, you can buy the boblies, the things that are all finished, and you, I just topped it with some cheese, again, some beans, some peppers, whatever you have. There was chicken on top of that, so you can have a Southwest-style pizza, and it, it's something you have in your house already. So you've essentially taken all the same items, and you've repurposed them in three different ways here. Planned overs. I like it. I, I like it. Can we try a few bites? Go ahead, and mind? I have a rice salad there. There you go. That's, this, that's, that's for you, Allie. You get the whole rice salad. Just dig into the yeah. whole rice salad just, bowl. Yeah, just dig in. Dig How in. often do you have rice left it's over? It's be communal. <laughs> and instead of dumping what's left, you can really turn it into a rice salad the next day. Wow. So again, vegetables that are around the house, some oil, some vinegar. There's no rules to this. It's whatever you have there and, and a vinaigrette on top of it. Um, this is fantastic. An is easier so thing to make. It is. You know what's nice about using your food wisely is we try to encourage consumers to consume with care. More and more, we are all interested in making sure that our food is raised sustainably so we can continue to feed the large population that we have mm -hmm. in the world. 
But at the same time, you want to be sure that you're also consuming with care because 20% of our landfills are filled with food waste. So there's a lot we can do. 20%? That, that much? Is yep. that unbelievable? That's pretty so there's do a lot you think we can when do. you go shopping about what you can get as much use at? Um, yeah. The problem is you can't have someone like Ryan in the kitchen <laughs> because then the food is so he did, still, he did save until you. this happened. <laughs> You know, but this hey, is like it's a, not what it looks like. It's no, how wait, it tastes. Wait. So this you, one's yours. No, no. <laughs> Do you want to send them over to your family cooking for <laughs> a night? Hand me one of these, guys. Uh -huh. this, this is my, uh, this, this, this oh, is my double stacker. There you go. You, you just add a little bit more, and there you go. That's that's the finished product. I, I'm, but, I'm sorry to interrupt you guys. No, you continue. I'm, you I'm know gonna what? You could be onto something new. I would put more cheese on there. You know, that's true. More beans, and you can just make this a stacker tortilla. See, anything goes. You need to be creative, and if you bring the kids in the kitchen, they can come up with these great ideas. You can bring Ryan home. Like Ryan. That's all you got to do. Hey, for more information. <laughs> Make sure you guys head on over to newenglanddairycouncil.org. <laughs> Heidi, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. And I thank think you. that we're going to be enjoying this, whatever <laughs> this. People are going to run to taste this one. I, I can't wait. I'll, I'll stick around. Still,